Oh, hi. How you doing, uh, Tony? I, I'm trying to figure out what's going on here. I know it's a little bit chilly uh, this morning. It's a little early. I know I'm here at, uh, you know, just a little bit before sunrise, but I really want to get out as soon as possible. I was hoping to get in some uh, few holes, maybe a, maybe nine holes before my meeting uh, at nine o'clock, and I, if I can get something in maybe three hours, I'd be in uh, pretty good shape. But I know uh, we're, we've got a delay going here, and I'm trying to figure out what's, uh, what's the problem. I mean, I can take it in my shirt sleep, so... Uh, I don't know why the grass is having any problems out here, but maybe you can uh, let me know what's up. Um, well, why is uh, why are we having a delay? Oh, hi, uh, Mr. Johnson. Uh, yeah, we are having a little bit of trouble uh, this morning due to the low temperatures and the frost that we've got out on the course. And as you're as you're probably aware, that the, those frozen ice crystals on the foliage can act like knives, and they can just chop right into the uh, into the tissue. And if the tissue breaks. Uh, it results in a more rapid decline of the grass and in this time of year we just don't get good recovery. Uh, even if the turf is dormant when it's got frost on it like that, it'll help break down the uh, tissue a little bit too much so we won't be able to last through the cold winters. So we appreciate your patience uh, in waiting until this, this frost uh, melts off. Uh, it's usually uh, within one to two hours after sunrise depending on the weather conditions. Some, uh, sometimes it hangs on a lot longer. Uh, but hopefully we can uh, get you out there as fast as possible, at least get you a, at least a few holes in uh, before your meeting, or maybe even uh, you can get a full round of golf out. Well, you know, I certainly wouldn't want to do anything to be detrimental to the uh, to the turf out here. The place looks great. Uh, we're really happy with the way you've been uh, been keeping the place going. So um, as soon as you think it's okay for us to get out there, we'll go out and get as many holes in as we can. Thanks a lot for all your efforts. Although every location is different, we recommend that golf play is held back until the frost has dissipated from the surface of the turf. The reason we recommend this is because the cutting, grinding action of those ice crystals on the turf surface of healthy turf can break the cuticle and cause damage to the turf and slow it down in recovery as the temperatures warm up. We even feel that frost on dormant turf can be a, have a negative impact in high traffic areas where that grinding action of the frost will break down the dormant turf uh, over time. So here's a look at the crystals on the leaves of turf grasses just to give you an idea of how sharp and angular and damaging they can be and if you step on the turf when its uh, surface is frozen like this the cuticle will crack and if you just wait a little while it'll thaw out and you'll have a, a, a beautiful uh, course to play on. It'll also be a little warmer uh, so you won't have to bundle up too much uh, to play if you just give the uh, frost a little bit of time. So this is an appeal to golfers to have patience when there's a frost delay at your location with the understanding that it's going to be a benefit to your course later on in the season. Happy golfing and have a nice winter golfing season.